And hello everyone, welcome once again. Welcome to another live stream and welcome to well the first live stream with my new seat. So I got the GT Omega inertia seat and I was able to mount it. I think I do have some adjustments that I need to make, but as far as you can see, we'll be testing it today to see if it's uh, if it's okay for racing. Um, I think it is okay, but I just have to mention a few things, but before we get going so we got well a couple of guys already jean uh, affinity joined again hit the apex thank you very much for that as well uh we got michael michael is here again uh so will as well as tony timo king mega talon is here as well so uh corridor uh we got who do we got we got everyone yeah <laughs> vdub is here damien uh, sugar shuffles kgt uh naruto hi there so yeah, there's just a lot of you, a lot of you in the chat already. So I don't know if I missed anyone, but hello to everyone. Uh, yeah, uh, I gotta say that I got this one even today. I was able to mount it. Didn't take that long, maybe about 15, 20 minutes, something like that. And yeah, we got this daily today. I will do a couple of laps, as you probably can tell. I am doing. Well, I am doing a 36.7. I did this one with Megan, but now I took... Actually, Susie made this setup. I think this is the setup from Susie with this G70. And I said, okay, why not? Let's test it out. Let's see how it's going to work out. And also about the seat, it's a little bit taller than what I'm usually used to. So we'll see if it's, if it's going to be okay. I don't feel the brakes at this point yet. I mean, I kind of feel them, but it's, it's really different i don't know i guess i'll have to get used to it a little bit better it's okay for now but let's see through this middle section i think this car has good good acceleration so i don't have to worry about the middle part of this lap yeah, it's pretty big. It's like... It's a throne. Kind of it is. Wow, insane turning. And yeah, we got Spa again. Not quite. Ha. I don't even know how to express myself. But I'm not too interested in spa this week. Only four laps, though. Yeah. It's a pretty big seat when I got it in the mail. When I got it delivered, I didn't get it in the mail, didn't I? <laughs> I mean... Um... I don't know about this car. I think I'm going to need a little bit more practice but the car for the race should be the Magan for me I don't know about the other cars and this track is one of those tracks where I'm usually terrible at but either way I'm gonna try the G70 later so let me show you the dailies I'm gonna be on my second account today I think most of the time so, yeah, G70 seems to be a pretty quick car around the circuit. Brea with a 0.4, and I did a 0.7. So, the Citroen seems to be a pretty good car for this combo. Um, well, most likely I'm going to be using it, we'll see. But, as far as I can tell, like, the Megane can also do a pretty good lap. And uh, I'm going to go on my second account, because I don't want to ruin... Uh, my main account today just before the season so we'll see how that's going to work and um, yeah this lap can go down this lap can go down and i'm pretty sure it will go down but i just need a little bit more time g74 the qualifying bed on tires okay uh the meta i don't think any car is really meta so yeah uh we got monza specified car this is this is not a good idea but i guess uh, no dr I know the are updates, okay. So we got this one. This is also with tuning, and tuning is back. You can find some tunes on the website. 
and gtr seems to be a pretty good one because we got tuning and you can lower down the natural frequency that's why it's pretty good on turning by the way rso1 i don't know about the other cars it seems like the gtr can be pretty good uh would be nice to try the toyota i think the toyota can have like a really really good lap time so 15s that can be can be done and also we got dragon trail gardens in group four so we will go through most of these and i will try different cars today and i might as well try different uh different setups so we will have different setups today i will just be trying them on and off just to see what works what doesn't work i know it's going to be difficult to understand each car but we'll see we'll see we'll see how it's going to work out today and by the way for the qualifying i think i need I think I need a quick car for the qualifying, but then again, for the race, I also need a quick car, but it's good on tires. So I need something that is good on tires, which is most likely going to be the Magan. So, yeah, let's go on to the second account. Okay, the Aston isn't going to work then. I mean... I think it can work, but you're just going to be so much slower. Uh, the problem is in this account, I don't have this car. Never mind. So for the first one, I'm going to rent it out. And it's going to be it's going to be the Magan. I did... Well, I did a setup. It seems to be a... I'm going to say that it's a decent one. 95 and the Citroen. Okay, let's try the first one with this Magan. See how it works. I know it's not going to be the best out there because it's really difficult to to overtake but i dropped this down it was actually something like this so compression ratio i think it's on the web second so i was using the setup for brand's hatch but it's slightly modified one so wait a second initial torque this was this was five i believe uh brand's hatch qualifying Okay, this was 5, 7, now it's 4, 6. I dropped this one to 20, 30, 50, 50. And then it was... It was actually 2.6 here. I think I got it 2.65 and 2.5. This was 5, I think it was 5, 25, 30. 5, 30, 25. Okay, 5, 30, and this was... This was definitely 25, so I'm gonna take a screenshot and let's get this thing going. Well, I got some time today, so we can try a couple of a couple of cars as well. A couple of cars that I don't usually use. Let me express myself a little bit better. So, braking balance with this one, I think plus two is fine, but we'll see. Bit of understeer now. There we go. Jason, hi there. It still slides here, but it's fine. I think it's fine. Uh, buffering. Mine is okay. I have no... Yeah. Try refreshing it. I think everything is fine. Okay. Brea, but I need to try his setup. I think he posted it in somewhere. Oh, we got Luke. Luke and him again. Gotta say hi. Stream's looking fine, okay. And it's pretty difficult now to see. Like, I got these... I don't know what are these called. Just for resting. If I use three monitors at the same time for sim... 
can I use like different brands or no I mean you can use you can use different brands but in GT it won't work like you can only use it on PC I don't think you can work I could I don't think you can connect three monitors on PlayStation maybe you can but I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work Let's see how slow am I. I'm pretty slow here in this circuit. I'm not usually the best here. Okay. One plus two stopping, I guess, without uh, without changing tires. Whoa. That was pretty interesting. Whoa. Yeah, that's the part that I don't like. going on I didn't even want to send it there like it will just really slow at the apex Okay, the car feels okay. The Citroen is, isn't exactly going to be the best on tires, so I might have a slight advantage by the end of this race. I wouldn't count on that one, though. That's Oscar. Maybe he has damage. Probably he doesn't. Oh. Side by side. Uh, difficult to pass on the outside, maybe there. Oof. This is gonna be a tough race because I just don't have the straight line speed. down eight point eight seconds to the lead yeah I don't like this corner it's 
somehow avoid it. The mess. That's a pretty slow group there in the front. down. Luckily he was ghosted. I think there is another guy. Okay, that's Luke. That's Luke, that's Luke, that's Luke. Okay, I'm gonna send it here because why not? And Oscar almost losing this one. Oh yeah, this is a pretty interesting race so far. Roger, hi there. The setup is not exactly the best one for the race. It is okay. But it's a bit too risky in my opinion. Roger, always enjoy your streams and videos. As you teach your class. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you for being a member. Well, I'm trying to watch my line, but I'm also trying to watch what the other guys behind me are doing. Fourth, but I think third could be better. Lewis is off the track. He will have less grip. I can go on the outside here. And I don't know if the other guy spit it already, but I'm into P6. I think we had mediums. I think those were mediums. And they were also 15s. Okay, 10.9 to the leader. I think the tires will be pretty okay, but I might put it to minus 1 to minus 2. try to catch Oscar now. I have the slipstream, but it's, it's not really helping me here. I need to pick up some speed. And yeah, this is definitely not the setup for the race. Also need to see how the other guys are doing this lap. I haven't seen any laps so far here. I just went straight in, straight into the qualifying, which I don't normally do. I usually watch a couple of laps from the other guys. No, this is not dynamic weather. Nothing. be a penalty now is it maybe it won't well I think most of the tracks have dynamic weather If 
not all of them. Oscar is 2.2 seconds in front. I need to get faster here. Too many mistakes. But I'm staying out. I mean, there is no point of changing tires, right? So do I need to change tires, guys? I don't think I do. Jimmy, hi there. Change them. Okay. So it's better to change the tires. That's why we don't see many Megans. No tires, no fuel. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try it like, that, like that. I might do a couple more laps. much time there. much much quicker I'll try the Citroen in the next one okay at this point I'm not going to change them Smoother inputs, yes, yes. Hello, Alex. It's faster to change them unless you pit lap one from the back. Okay. So, smoother inputs of the steering wheel, and you can coast if you want it. Like, you can literally coast more instead of braking. It does help. I think they all changed tires, didn't they? Kind of an easy target now, am I?
Let's get more grip. Oh, okay, okay. What is that about? Like that was different. Yeah, they all change tires. I mean, I think it's better. I think it's definitely better to change the tires. And that's why faster cars like a Citroen can work. Their breeze. Yeah, my tires are absolutely dead. I mean, I can still keep the car on the road, but it's not easy. Almost lost it there. Pigeon in the pits. Who is that? Why did he stop there? Might even keep this place. They are so much better. He's got a penalty. I got my P6 here. Yeah, without changing the tires. I mean, change the tires. I think it's better to change the tires. You know what? I no. In my opinion, I think it's worth it. Because later I was losing it. I was just losing so much time. So even... I think even if you put early on, I think it's worth changing the tires. Or you're going from the back or doing whatever. Because I was 18 seconds from uh, from the lead. I'm not 18 seconds slower than Brea. I know it. So I might try another car. I might try something that is a little bit better. I mean, P6 is okay. I'm, uh, I'm quite okay with P6. But changing the tires. Change the tires. Like, it was a chaos. I saw it. I saw it there. And yeah, when you're okay, when you're in clean air, you got all of the downforce of that car, so you can take take that corner. So I mean, you can really be on the limit. But if you're behind someone, it's really difficult to see in front of you. And easily, it's I mean, easily you can make a mistake. 
But yeah, look, I saw that one. That was pure chaos, in my opinion. That's just nuts. It's not how it's supposed to be. To explain it. Yeah, I have no explanation for that one. Uh, what are the bad races? I mean, to be honest, I'm not quite a fan of this one either. So it's... I don't know. I have a feeling that this is not how it's supposed to be. I mean, I can try other cars as well, guys. Let's try other cars. But in my opinion, this... No. Okay, let's, let's rinse out the car. Um, okay, I got it taken what am i going to take this time so the citroen i've seen the setup for the citroen i might try it seaside more than garden seaside is better but we don't see it that often probably because of the veggie cane uh you got them down in the description or you can go here ah wait a second so i slightly modify the ones that I already have. So I don't think I got the Citroen, or maybe I do. Maybe I do. Either way, let's take the Citroen. Okay. So yeah, quality time, let's work on the setup. I mean, I had something on the website, but I'm going to try this one because I found it. So this is going to be like 8, 25, 25, isn't necessarily going to do much here, even if it's 50, 50. But uh, let's do it 50, 50. And I think this is going to be 2, 7. Let's try it like this. Okay. It turns pretty well. A bit of understeer, but it's also okay. Turning is almost perfect. Ah, it's a pretty good car. Oh yeah. If you're driving, use this one, but I would maybe move the braking balance a little bit to the back. And also, one of the things that I would change is the acceleration sensitivity. This car doesn't need that much sensitivity. I'm just gonna move it to 25. Let's see what is on the website. I think I've got this one. I think it was Autopolis the last time we had setups. Mm, wait a second, Citroen GT. Just post them Discord to set up. Okay, Rory's using what? 
daily basis. Okay, 6 and 25, 25. He's using 45, 45. 2.7, he's using 3.1. Okay, he's using also 40. Uh, pretty much, it's the uh, not the same, but it's very, very similar. But I think I can move this down to like 15, maybe. Let's try 20, let's try 20. This is what I'm going to keep. And Wait a second. Is he using my setup? No, he just changed the... No, no, okay, okay, he's not, he's not. Just the frequencies, never mind. Maybe even a little bit more. Uh, I think 6 is better for this track, maybe even 5, 7. But yeah, let's try it, let's try it. I don't have much time, but let's use it. Does it turn better? I would say that it does. It's difficult to say in one corner. Um, the website is down in the description for setups if you want to use them. You can use lower sensitivity. Yeah, you can definitely use lower acceleration sensitivity. It even helps with the rotation. Yeah, this car isn't going anywhere. tweak it a little bit, but that's the best I can do in five minutes. Mm, think of it as... Huh, it's difficult to explain what it does. Essentially what it does, it restricts the movement. So if you go... I'm going to explain it. So you know how cars drift, for example. This is, I think this is the best way to explain it. So in general, when the cars drift, they have locked differential. I think it's called locked. If, he, if it's not correct, please <laughs> correct me. So when you have it at 60, for example, you can start accelerating and then you will have, let's say you will have a more direct response. So you will start accelerating much sooner. I mean, may, maybe I can go with like 25, but yeah. Uh, so that basically means that the wheels are going to be started to spin at the same time. But you have it low, the distribution of the force will be, let's say, much smoother, so to say. So in general, 60 is if you want to drift it, and 5 is more like a smooth approach and not really risking it too much. So something in the middle, I would say it is always the best, but it's difficult to find that middle. I'm gonna go to 25. I maybe even 30. Uh, let's see what I can do with this. I'm gonna take a screenshot just to have it. And this one, I think it just did restrict me too much. Never mind. This is just for testing, I guess. Um, not really testing, but I can I can work with the setups when I'm on my second account. Nothing terrible is going to happen, is it? And by the way, thank you for the likes, guys. We're getting really, really close to 40,000 subs. So thank you very much for that.
All right, let's get this one. Du, du, du. Maybe I should turn on the lights here. It's I hope the lighting is okay because the seat is very, very dark. So. Okay, now I'm starting in 16th place. I think I have to put the brake and bias to the back. But. I mean, let's see what I got. Let's keep it at zero for starters. And I think I'm gonna need this. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna take this place here. But. And this is not how you do it, my man. And I'll get a penalty for that. Oh, the penalties. Luckily, you don't lose too much time, but it's still a penalty. Whoa, I see a car spinning right there. Rejoining the circuit, he has a lot less grip now. And I'm gonna take that one. I'm gonna lose all of those two places now. Mm. Let's try to go defensive. Okay. Going side by side here. Oh, this is gonna be sandwich here. Not looking good, guys. Not looking good. Let's see who can break late. I can break late. And there we go. Hopefully this time not a penalty. I don't think it was a penalty this time, but... I guess you never really know on this track, do you? I think the setup is fine, but it needs to be slightly tuned up. When I say slightly, it has to be a little bit more stable. In my opinion, it's fine, but it's too scary in some of the turns. Okay, something is going on up there, because the gap was 11 seconds, wasn't it? And now it's 9, or even 8. So, there probably was something, which is not usually good. didn't see him so that's why I went wide usually you want to get over the curb but in this case no I don't see much in front so
guys, come on. Should I go for it? Send it. I don't know, guys. What do you think about this week? I don't know what to think about it, really. Yellows. Yellows, yellows. Oh. That was a slight hit. Let's go with it. I mean, the track finally cleared up. Not much, but it is better. Eleven seconds from the lead. I mean, I'm gonna keep this place going defensive. Sending it, he's sending it. Yep. Yep. I mean, I'm gonna catch them again, but it's like, no. <laughs> I mean, but it's, why? That's the real question. Yeah, I'm staying out. I mean, I don't want to get into the pits with them. And this time I will change the tires. Never mind, we keep on going, and that's it.
Okay, I'm, now I'm getting in. I know I'm behind them, but this leaves me no option. So I gotta change the tires. Otherwise, I will be losing a lot of time. I think I overtook these two guys now. I'm gonna give Citroen another shot because this wasn't a good shot here I always touch that curb. I gotta get him now. What is he doing? No, no, no. That's just called dirty driving, man. That's not how you do it.
Oh, Lou is spinning out. I almost made it on the outside there. He's always st uh, closing down the corner, like he literally stopping at the apex. I mean, when someone stops, stops at the apex, nothing much that you can do. Why do you move under braking? Like... <laughs> Hierarchies. But no, I mean, it's like... I didn't want to do it. But he moved under braking. I mean, where am I supposed to go? I'm under... Breaking, like I mean th that's not how you do it I'm gonna watch the replay But there was no space for three of us. There was, if everyone kept their own lines. I was in the middle. But... You cannot weave like this around the circuit. No. Like, and when you're defending, you can only defend in the straight line. I mean, you can, you can go to defensive line. You can take the defensive line, but take it. Like, stay on that defensive line. I mean, you can go back to your previous position, but don't try to break and turn you when you see the guy is breaking later than you are. Like, I need to, I need to watch that one. I just need to see that one. I don't know if my DR went down. Or, I mean, my DR went, went down. Yeah, but safety rating, okay. Uh, yeah, the Citroen is the better one. It's a little bit better in my opinion. But let's let's have a look. I mean. This is not how you race. I need to have a look at that specific situation. I don't know, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I had a penalty. And then... Okay. No, why stop? I mean, why would you stop?
I took my line. And now he's breaking. And what is he doing? He's starting to turn in. Letting go off the brakes to turn in. Into me. Like, why? What do you think about it, Sheen? I mean... I don't even know, but... You know what? I don't even care. <sighs> so... I think the seed is pretty okay at this point. I just gotta get used to it. And definitely... You need a pillow. Or just a cushion behind. But I've got this thing, so I've got this one, also from GT Omega. So this is the one that I got with my, uh, I think it was with my older seat, and now I'm using it on this one. It would be nice though to have it with this one. Unfortunately, I think you can buy it. I'm not sure about it, but it would be nice to get one because I just put it down and then I have like a perfect sitting sitting position and when i break i have no movement which is what i really like about it i mean we'll see in the long run if i'm gonna have like back issues like i used to have that that's why i got to the rs6 seat but um, i mean we'll see you know what i'm gonna take the citroen once again uh by the way let's see let's see if i got any just a second. Let's see if I got any of those uh, DG liveries. Ah, oh, waiting for Fanatec, yeah. I really hope they start delivering. I've seen some positive feedback that they did. So, f yeah, it would be nice that they did. Digit. What do we got? I got this one. I don't think we got the... Oh, we got one. We got one. Thank you, Reiki. Oh yeah, now I gotta buy it. Uh, yep. Okay, now I gotta buy the car. So yeah, break-in performance kit. I don't know why. Is that US, by the way? Because I checked the break performance kit is available here in Europe. Oh, uh, Citroen is France. Apex, hi there. Let's take this one. It doesn't matter which color I'm gonna take delivery either way. But I mean... I don't understand the last one. Probably never will. So let's jump into the next race. And I will. And oh, I gotta change delivery by the way, I forgot. Uh, I wish there was an easier way to do it. I mean, it's still easy. Don't think that it's not easy. It's pretty easy. But I don't know all, all that stuff with changing oil, tires, and that stuff. That should be... I mean, I think it should be slightly easier.
Suzuka time trial. What do we got, Suzuka? Wait a second. We got Suzuka time trial. What? Like two more days? No, no. I mean, I don't know, but if. But to be honest, I don't know. I think I made too many of those track guide videos. And at this point, it kind of feels like. Not right. I'm always pushing to get a good lap time so I can post a video. But I could be focusing on better things in the long run. I don't know. If I see a good one, I might do it. But I'm going to focus on racing. 50-50. Since it really takes a lot of time to prepare yourself to do... To do a video like that one because you need to edit it i mean of course you need to edit it but what is that by the way 40 okay but you also need to get a good lap in which is on some weeks it's not quite easy to do so yeah and the guide is only there for what few days sorry a week now it's two weeks already shipped US okay I think they started delivering in the US so it's good it's getting better like it should be from the beginning but It's not much of a monopoly, you got other brands as well, but they're the only ones who have like a good product. Or PlayStation, I'm talking about PlayStation, don't roast me here. Like you got Logitech for example, it's not monopoly. You got Logitech, there is Stressmaster, there is... There's Fanatec, so you got... I would say three brands that are good. They're good, but you got some brands that can work, but they're not exactly the best. So, yeah. So, how much time you lose if you got TCS? It depends on the car, it depends on the circuit, depends on conditions, for example. But, in my opinion, you, you do lose some time, like... Over one lap, if you use TCS1, I think you can lose like a tenth, tenth and a half. Tenth and a half, maybe two tenths. I would need to do like a longer stint to... To know exactly how much time you lose. But on the acceleration, I think it matters the most on the acceleration. And this is where you're just losing time. Because it just cuts off the power. But if you go to two and three, this is where you start really losing time. Because the car is, is not sliding anymore. Well, when, when you have that slip angle, the car performs really well. But if, when you lose the slip angle, you just completely lose... I mean, you, you lose that transition from one corner into another. And especially when you're accelerating. So, it's quite... It's quite difficult to say exactly how much, but I wouldn't suggest to use more than TCS1. Let's get into this one. Okay, Jose. Jose te el de TDG. He is usually quite quick, so let's see what he can do. Oh yeah, that sliding starts.
Ooh, first one. Luckily he was ghosted, and just like that I got like two places. Is he gonna take him on the outside? No. What about now? No. Inside, is he gonna send it? Doesn't feel like it. Maybe I can work with him and get a couple of places here, so... Let's go, let's go, let's go. Is he going to do it now? Probably not. Oh, well, yes. Inside, whoa. Come on. It's a pretty, pretty loose card there. Oh, we got one more spinning out. That's Luke. Yes. Acceleration, maybe I can work with this. No, he's got better acceleration out of that one. Should I, should I, should I? I can try. No, nope, not quite there. So, I don't want to crash into anyone and I don't want to lose too much time, but I also would like to pass. Let's go. <laughs> okay. I thought I wasn't gonna make it. Oh yeah, the acceleration was better there. And I think I can move the acceleration sensitivity to 40. I thought it was too much, but it seems to be okay. Top 10. Sometimes it feels like you're not going to make it because the car starts understeering. But it does work from time to time. Seven point nine seconds from the leader. 
which is not bad, but I definitely need to get closer. Like, the question is, should I do an undercut or stay out longer? Actually, staying out longer seems like a plan. Oh, we got another car spinning out. That's key. Thirty-seven six. There we go. And somehow I didn't get a penalty. I mean, this is pretty interesting. Oh, we got one more down. And I'm into P7. I mean, I didn't pit yet, so that's also the reason why. But it's looking good. Lewis going very, very wide. He won't have enough grip. He's probably going to stop the car. He needs to break early. There we go. So here, if you take the curve, you will get so much rotation. And if you get through this section clean and not get a penalty, that's already half of the job done. Oscar behind. He is pretty quick. Into the pits. So I will change the tires. Changing the tires, but not taking any fuel. I think this is the right strategy. And hi, Kobe. Hi there. Nice to see you again. And 400 people watching this thing. Okay. Oh.
on. I know I got more pace. Going defensive here. I don't think he really wants to do it. So... Take the normal line. Wide, wide, wide. There we go. Was it already up in the front? 4.5 seconds. He might even catch Brad there. Not the best idea to cut that corner. Hi, Maxi. Okay, into P6, maybe one more place, but I don't think so. Who knows? Oscar is pretty quick here. I mean, how is he so quick here? Like, I get under the power very early, but he gets, he gets even earlier. Unbelievable. 
I guess going wider makes more sense. Or maybe not. going so quick over those curbs. That's my... Oh, that's my thing there. I think I got a bit more space I can squeeze myself in. curbs. Oof, B6 out of this one. A difficult one. But Citroen is OP. We can count the Citroens, or maybe we can just exclude the ones that are not Citroens. One, two, two. Yeah. Citroen lobby. No, I did not try the Supra. It looks like the Citroen is the car to go with. I need to watch the replay from the fastest guy here. I'm losing a lot of time. I'm just losing a lot of time in the middle section. Well, not, not that much in the middle section, but through... I'm not even sure how to call it. Over the curbs or whatever. Uh, wheel, steering wheel, it's down in the description. I'm using... Uh, Formula V 2.5. Or you can use commands, by the way. I, to be honest, I didn't practice that much. Unfortunately, I haven't had much time to do it. So let's let's watch the replay from the first guy. Just gonna see. It's going to be something like this. And yeah. That's my wheel. And also, I think it's base. You'll find the base. And also, if you type in setup, I think it's setup. It should work. I think it should. Uh, which cars are in daily? Uh, mostly GTRs. Mostly GTRs. But let's have a look at the leader. Uh, he's using the other car. Uh, never mind. Let's, let's watch Brea for a second. I don't even know how he got a 35.8. It's probably some OP setup. I don't even know what. So let's see this one. Oh, so much sliding. Maybe setup is going to work. Or, you know what? I think this one is better. No. One thing. 
slide, 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 slide. Hey, who knows? Maybe it is. Almost flat out, but this is what surprised me because I cannot turn in. Like, look at it. At this point, he's like on the power, flat out, lifting a little bit, and then again, flat out. I'm trying to do it, but it doesn't seem I can get the speed out of this corner. Uh, you just gotta sign up for dailies. Uh, you go into online multiplayer, and uh, that's pretty much it. You just race. I know what setup is he using, but it seems to be pretty drifty. Especially in the race. Yeah, that's the acceleration do its instinct. I'm talking about acceleration sensitivity. Yeah, much, much different approach, even here. Like, look at this. Very, very aggressive. And somehow the car turns. Skater, hi there. Mm, I'm even going wide. Let's see this one as well. When is he accelerating? I gotta watch it again. Like, brakes here. Turning here. Acceleration a little bit, and then flat out in the middle. Okay. I got about three minutes. Uh, you can map the encoders, but they don't really work well. I mean, you have to guess what these, what is the encoder going to do. So, let me show you what I mean by that. Let's go into the settings. So if you go to the options, you will be able to see that you got controllers here, and then I am using, I'm actually using this one, GT Fanatec Podium, yeah, I'm using the GTDD Pro. I guess I can use, I don't think I can, because they need to update this and they need to add like a couple more versions, like the Club Sport DD Plus, and also they need to install something else. So hopefully they will do it. But who knows? So Fanatec GTD Pro, and these are my settings. So now I can use encoders for braking bias, and I can also use it for fuel maps. Uh, okay, the strategy is pit lap five or six, and change tires. That's it. You don't need fuel. So yeah, Manu Rodri even doing a better lap. Okay. But I think if you pick the Citroen, you're, you'll be okay. I mean... Let's go. Let's go again with the same car. I need to find some pace. Okay, one thing. Oh, I didn't do the setup. 
That's what I forgot. You know what? Let's try his setup. I know I changed it slightly. But maybe even I can try mine. 5, 7, 25, 25. This is gonna be 2.5, isn't it? No, 2.7. This. Okay, 30 more seconds. And appreciate the likes, guys. Okay, let's get this one done. I mean, I gotta get this one. Thank you. I'll try. <laughs> I mean, I'll try to have a good one. Let's see. So, Key is doing a 36.5. Manu is doing a 36.4. Jeez, this lobby. This one. Yeah, I I saw Susie's lap time was pretty good though. Like it was like really good. Alright guys, let's hope that this one will do better for me. Why is this guy moving? Thank you, but thank you.
sorry, didn't mean to do it. Because this is going to be a pretty close race. Take this one. I got it. Okay, some clean air now. Yeah, go high there. So I always thought that it's better to sacrifice the entry to take a better line out. But from what I see now, it's like you need to keep up the speed. You just need to keep up the speed no matter what. And especially here in this middle section.
I guess flat out don't lift works. I mean, I have nothing to lose because the other guys are too far behind and they're not gonna make another cut. something happened oh, yeah the leader is losing time yeah the Aston was a pretty good experience I mean not pretty good like it's it's really really good trust me Whoa. But I mean, thank you for that. It was really difficult because, like in real life, you don't want to crash a car. Because it's worth a fortune, and then you're trying to take it easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It is V8. He said V8 Mercedes engine, so I'm not sure, but I guess he knows what engine it is. Yeah, I know Tiago, but usually. I don't know, I cannot get speed on the circuit. I'm like usually slow here. I tried sacrificing the entry, but it doesn't seem to work. Like you have to still brake very late here, you let go of the brakes and then you're just like on here, but I don't seem to get that much speed. It's like, <sighs> it's kind of frustrating. I would really need to study the circuit and find the best solution for me. And it seems like you cannot get under the power early there, but you can. And that's one of those things. It's a really weird track. I don't know if this combo is fun. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of this circuit, so... It's okay, but in higher classes, this one... Wow, what happened there? I got into P9, though. But yeah, not a huge fan of this one.
No, I don't like because it's so random. Like sometimes you can pick up speed, sometimes you lose it, sometimes you get a penalty, sometimes you don't. I don't like that. I like those cleaner circuits where you know what you know what you will get if you cross a line or something. But here is like you have to cross well, you have to touch the curbs if you want to be quick here. But if you touch them in the wrong way, the car bounces and you lose control. And it happens to people on the top split, so I can just imagine what happens to the guys that are not in the top split. And that's what... What I don't like about this one. I don't like the circuits where... That, that have like those random places where you just lose time and you don't know what's going on. See the guys are fighting in front of me. Yeah. Okay. GT has some pretty good original tracks, or what what they call them. We can try spa. Oof, man. I guess if you're writing this, you're okay, so... I'm just assuming. Those guys are still fighting here. They're like four seconds in front. I don't think I'm gonna get that one. Yeah, it's one more lap, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. Okay, 36.8. It is getting better. very wide. Let's see if this was quicker. Come on, tell me that this was quicker. By 30 thousands, that's what I said. Like, I thought it was going to be at least like a tenth. Ooh, who 
is that? Okay, key. Gun into P8. Swift can work. It just kills the tires. So Citroen is, in my opinion, the only option. <laughs> I mean, you can get some other cars, but I tried the Megan. It's okay, but it's not quite there. Uh, you don't have to change it, but I do highly recommend changing them. As you can see, we got Citroens. GG's, thank you. But it's like, it's P8. It's P8. 11 seconds from the lead. Okay, I'm not 11 seconds slower. I'm most likely like 3 or 4 seconds slower than uh, than the leader, but it's, it's crazy. It's just crazy how much speed they can get. And only one car that's... I don't know. Not really great in my opinion, but it is what it is. Um, I guess you can use some other cars, but really no point uh, yeah you need to get the perfect amount of rotation and it seems like you need to stop the car and get it back going like stop and go stop and go stop and go not so smooth it has to be very very abrupt like go 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 instead of like stop wait accelerate stop wait accelerate it's a very different circuit in a way I don't like it that much it just doesn't suit my style uh, bring the Mazda back. I mean, that wasn't good either, since it was too much. Like, we had one OP car, and then we got another OP car, and then we got... Uh. It feels very, very different than anything else. But okay. Uh, by the way, thank you for the likes. Thank you very much for the likes. So we can maybe get into daily race B this time and try it there. So what do you say, guys? Go spa. Uh, do we go spa. Maybe we can find some other tunes for this one, but we don't have many. We just don't have... Like, okay, the G70 can work, I think, in the qualifying, but the Citroen is... The Citroen is OP in the race. Maybe not that much OP, but it's... Yeah. Do some spa. Okay, let's go... Uh, let's take a spa treatment then. So, let's see. What is the best car? And the might... Okay, it looks like the GTR and the M6. The GTR is fine. The RS01 seems to be okay. Uh, those are the usual cars. I mean, I can try... I can try the GTR, why not? So, I'll take the... Or, you know what, let's wait a minute and then I'll sign up for the race as well. Uh, let me check. And, by the way, I'll, I will upload these setups on the website. Hmm... By the way, I can, maybe I can share them on Discord. Okay, I can share them on Discord. By the way, this is going to be on Discord if you want to check it out. And later I will post it on the on the website. So it's gonna be easier to find it.
or you can just pause the stream and there you have it. Did it upload? Of course it didn't. Yep, send it. And okay. So, uh, let's get the setup ready for the GTR. I'm gonna go sign up for the race immediately. So, GTR 18 it is. I'm gonna take the car from the movie. And let's go. This was... What was the latest setup that I had? It doesn't matter. So, I'm just gonna go with group 3. That's gonna be the GTR. We got three setups for the GTR. I think the Trial Mountain is gonna be really good for that one. Or maybe even Lago Maggiore. It's a similar circuit. Or maybe not. Nurburgring GP. Let's try let's try the Nurburgring GP. Let's see if that's going to be better. So that was Use only your livery? I mean I'm gonna use this one. To change my podium DD1 by the DD plus to play in a GT1. Uh, sorry, play on GT7. No, if, if DD1 is working, I wouldn't change it. It's not that much of a difference, to be honest. I mean, you can if you would like to try it out, but you will definitely not get that much performance. Since it's already like a very, very high level wheelbase, so I don't think so. No, this goes 2.5. Mr. Consultant, hi there. Let's get 2.9, and this is going to be... Well, this can be different. He set it up to 52, but I'm going to set it up at 50. And this one is going to be 5, because it's an FR car. So let's take a screenshot of this. It might be different here, but let's see. Okay, the acceleration needs a bit of work. Should I put the lap time in and race like that? I think it's going to be good just to see if this car is competitive or not. Oh, very, very nice turning. This one feels like cheating, to be honest. You don't need the brake and balance to the back. It'll be okay like this. Konnichiwa. GTR 18. Yes, it is. So that would be a 16.2, I believe, 16.3. So 
M6, I think M6 I got one. If it's not on the website, then I don't have it. Mm, M6, okay, we don't have any M6 setups. Hmm. Okay, we got, you know what, we got 10 minutes, so this setup can work. I would maybe adjust... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this one. So I'm just gonna take a screenshot. So this is gonna be the setup for this car. I guess you can tune the damping ratios a little bit and the natural frequency to move it like here. Because it does slide. Okay, I'm gonna move it to 2.8. I think it slides a bit too much in some corners. So I would, I would put it to 2.8. And also the sensitivity, we can put it to 55 with a preload of 10. So this should give us a better acceleration out of some turns. It's gonna be safer. Not that it'll be better, it will just be safer. In theory, of course. Yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit different. Still not quite there. <laughs> I mean, try the setup, you'll see. Try the setup. It's much better. Like, even this one. I think this should give us pretty good acceleration without any wheel spin. Oh. That's too much. Mm, okay, let's give it one more shot. Uh, it feels... I would say that you need to apply the same principles, but it will not be the same. You can try it, but you will have... Okay, I think this one is on the limit. Let's see now. Breaking balance, two. Oh yeah, this is very nice. It's gonna be a very, very stable car with this setup. No, the whole point is not to make the car incredibly difficult to drive, because otherwise it makes no point. So I would make something that is completely out of this world, I guess. But then it would be really, really difficult to, to do all of those far laps. Renault... Give me a couple of minutes, I'm gonna do the Renault one. Okay, still a lot of rolling. Okay, stabilizes by itself. Uh, very, very difficult to get into this corner. Roll bars need to be fixed, but okay. Okay, we got seven minutes, so I'm not going to take the GTR. I might take the RSO one just to find the right tune. That one is going to be quite tough, but let's change the car. I will try to do it. Uh, you can try to go 7th in, I would suggest, yeah. This may be a bit too much, in my opinion. So let's see what I got. That was a 50... I think 555, or maybe... It's hard to say. It's really hard to say, but... You can... You can try it out, see what works. Mm, let, where is the RS? Okay, this is the RS. Okay, I'm gonna do the setup that it's almost the same as the Porsche one since they are kind of the same not exactly but kind of that's gonna be my base so okay let's go let's go nine six this one I'll move it down just to see what it's like Let's do 45, 45. Okay, now natural frequency. That that one is going to be tough. I'm going to need to lower it down to see if it's going to work. But this one... is going like 320. Initial torque with this car... It's 15, in my opinion, and even 30 here. And braking... Let's try this one at 20, just to see what it's like. So I'll do one lap and then I I'll just adjust accordingly. 
Does it move under braking? No, it's pretty stiff now. Very nice acceleration. It doesn't slide under braking. Wow, okay, this is pretty nice. I don't know if it's going to be quick, but it feels really, really quick already. I don't know about the straight line speed, but I think it's going to be fine with this. Let's break late. I think now it's a bit understeery though. steer here that's normal for this car accelerating like nothing entry hmm. Hmm, let me try this I know it's gonna be loose now but let's see So this is going to go down to 7, this is, no, let's keep this one at 6. Oh yeah, and the acceleration sensitivity, now it feels like I don't need this much. Let's try it like this, I will know, just I need to do one acceleration to know if it's going to be okay. It feels like I'm losing a lot of time when I accelerate. Okay, now we got a lot of rolling. It's still stable, like, <laughs> what is going on with this car? Let's take this one now. So much grip. Yeah, I need to put the acceleration down. Although I think this is kind of getting there. So, 7, 6. Let's try this one at 15. And I will change the acceleration to... Okay. So I don't want a car to be too stiff, but I also don't want it to be too loose. You see how much... Uh, yeah, I can put the acceleration down to like 5. Although it's going to be pretty difficult in slow turns now. Let's try it out. I'm thinking for the light guys. Maybe we can get up to 300. And rev it up. Don't upshift like I am doing now. So let's do minus. Minus one. Okay, I don't think this now is going to be very suitable for normal people. Now, there is too much. I, I don't think someone would be able to catch this one. Rory, thank you very much. I was watching your stream earlier. It's nice to see that someone's trying out all of the strategies early in the morning. But now I have an easy job to do. <laughs> thank you again. Okay, let's put this down. And braking sensitivity is going up. Damn pink. You know what, I'm gonna take a screenshot. Let's see if this is gonna be okay. Uh, acceleration sensitivity so for example when you accelerate like this one it kind of engages the rear wheels of this car so if they are at 60 the wheels should in theory and they will 
start spinning at the same time. <laughs> you show you not to do. Um, yes and no, yes and no. But show me also the right things. Takes a lot of... You know what? When you see someone doing all of that stuff in the morning for five hours, it's much easier to do it by yourself. Like, a lot easier. Thank you, man. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Um, I think I stopped with the acceleration sensitivity. So when you have it at 60, both wheels are spinning at the same time. But if you have it at, let's say, 5, the wheels are not going to be spinning at the same time. The wheels are going to be spinning depending on, on the circuit and the curvature of a, of a specific corner and how much the car is sliding, of course. So it's, it feels like, for example, when the car... When you put the power down, I think it's going to be easier like that. So when you put the power down, when you see that the wheel are spinning and you cannot control the car, that, that means that the sensitivity needs to go higher. So it just needs to go... Well, sorry, it needs to go down to smoothen it out. But if you see that the car is very stable under acceleration, like you don't have to do much work, you just put the power down and it stays there, you put it closer to 60. So that's what, I'm, what I was doing with this car. So I was... I cannot show you now because it's uh, because it's end but I think I got a screenshot of this one. So I found that this car was very good under acceleration. That's why the initial torque is at 5 and the acceleration sensitivity is at 20. So in I think it can go down even down to like 10. Maybe I can try it out. But then it would be really difficult to someone that is let's say average to to get this car under control. So I'm trying to kind of, kind of find the right middle point where everyone is going to be happy. So I know a lot of guys that are in the top splits are not going to be happy with the setup because they're like, oh, okay, you know what, it's pretty easy. You know, it doesn't move that much. It's going to save the tires though, but it's not going to be exactly the quickest around the circuit. So let's see what I can do with this setup. Let's see if this is actually going to work. Uh, I haven't fully tested this one, so I don't know how it's going to be in the in the faster turns, but it should be okay. Lower is faster, not necessarily faster, because then you start spinning the wheels too much. So, kind of finding the middle ground is the best one. But that's the difficult part. That's why we got setups, I guess. Let's see this one. For example, here I always upshift into second, and you can see how early am I accelerating. I don't have to think too much because the acceleration sensitivity is at 20. If it was at 5, I would need to think about it and see, okay, maybe I need to ease off a little bit. Oh yeah, this is wonderful. Maybe I need to put the radar on. That's the part that I wanted to avoid. And that's why I can start accelerating like this. Bias needs to go down to minus three. I don't want to completely lose the car. Yeah. I don't think it's very user-friendly at this point. It's kind of okay. But I still have to be careful about some things. Especially low speed turns. Braking sensitivity needs to go up. He overshot it.
And you can see how early can I accelerate with this stuff. And that's the point. You need to be able to accelerate really, really fast, but... No, don't go here. <laughs> okay, change his mind. But the RS is pretty quick in the straight. Even in second gear, I can start accelerating. High speed turns are not exactly the best. It's okay, it turns really well. But just this turn is like. down and that's what I'm talking about You see, like, smash it on the power, nothing happens. So this means I can go with the acceleration sensitivity a little bit lower, to about 10, 15. And it's still going to be stable. Okay, the Italian will get a penalty here. But I will take this one. Ah, maybe, maybe I won't. I didn't get a penalty for that one, that's okay. Ah, dirty tires. And you can see how they are sliding. I can see it. But the anti-roll bars, I need to change them slightly.
anti-roll bars. I mean, natural frequency can also do the job. Seven ten no with this car. No lower, lower. Yeah, okay, I think twenty is actually going okay. Didn't get the fastest lap of the race, but at least I found a good car. So 10 seconds off the lead with a couple of overstakes done. I mean, we can... We can work on this setup a little bit longer. Or I can pick another car. You can guys pick another car. From Wind. Oh, you can send it out to me, but he's usually very, very aggressive. So it might not suit my style. Okay, we got one and eight more minutes, so uh, what did I want to suggest? Let's see. I'm not going to go sign up for the race, so we'll try this one. So, qualifying, I think we need to add a little bit more natural frequency to the front. So, I, I hate this stuff because it takes forever to do it. Uh, five... It's going to be 5, 15, 30. And you know what? Even 40. Let's keep it at 35. Let's see if that's going to work. 7, 6. Maybe even 7, 5. Let's see, 7, 5 and this was 3... And I think this was 3.0, wasn't it? No, 7 and 10 would spin you out like crazy. 7 and 10 wouldn't be exactly the best. But... Okay, uh, let's see what I got with this one. And then I can pick another car. You guys can pick a car. Mm, a bit stiffer now. I think I'm just on the edge of acceleration here. Okay, stable. Now it's stable. Mm, I've already done the Genesis. Maybe we can try the M6. It, it is stiffer. I think this one is going to suit the race a little bit better. Like for the qualifying, I would maybe go with, uh, with kind of a looser option. But for this one, I think it's going to be okay for the race. Yeah, yeah, it's stable now. Maybe too stable. Is it even going to slide? Uh, yes, it is. Ah. And that's okay with this car.
Okay, this is pretty stable now. Let's see the curbs. Nice. Yeah. And no worries. I'm going to upload all of this on the web. Okay, now I think I got the point. Okay, this would be a 16. So this is this is the safe setup. I would use it in the race, but you can use the qualifying setup, uh, which is just there. I just did it like a couple of minutes ago. Um, let's see, how many did I get today? I think I got a couple. So okay, we got the GTR, we got the RS, we got the Citroen. Uh, Magan, I tried one. Magan is okay, but it's not exactly the best car for this race. We got a couple of setups, so it's going to be okay. No, this time, it's actually pretty good like this. I'm not going to change too much. So, if, if you're having too much oversteer on entry, you can solve it with breaking sensitivity on the LSD. You can just put it up higher. So that's what you get with stability. Um, I don't think I got much time to do a setup for a card that I don't know. Um, but let's do like I got three minutes. So Corvette, no. Let's see what is going to be the one. I said the M6. Where is the M6? Okay, endurance model. So qualifying, I got two minutes to work on the setup, so it's going to be a lot different. I know the M6 has very... I'm not going to say bad acceleration, but it's not exactly the best. So I'm going to... Let's keep it at 30. This needs to go down to 5, and this needs to go down to 5 as... Sorry, got go down as well. But I need to get rotation, so theoretically speaking, let's put it like this. Nine and... No, nine is going to be too much. Is it? Let's, let's try it. Let's try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay, sprint is faster. Huh, interesting. Okay. Let's go back. I got one minute. Okay, now it accelerates. Sixty. No, even no, I'm going to change it. I gotta change it. Hmm. 
Eu sim. And... This is a pretty big gamble now, but... Let's go, let's go with it. I got nothing much to say about this, but let's give it a shot. Whatever happens, happens, guys. Thank you. Yeah, I think the RS is better. Like a lot better, but let's give it a shot. I don't know where to go. I'm trying to avoid it. I'm also trying to overtake. This isn't good. I don't know. I'm not going to rage quit, but RS is like so much better. No, it's not too much power, it's the way it works. OK, 
Okay, at least I got clean air so I can see what, what works with this car. And possibly the setup isn't the best. Too much understeer. I mean, I guess the setup is fine, but it's, it's good on tires, but that's all it is. It's just too much understeer with this car. Might get one place because someone crashed. I think it's gonna be okay. Well, I will let you know in like a couple of weeks. But so far, so good. Oh, a turn like this car. Come on. Seventeen five. Yeah, I can't even stay up with him.
<laughs> I might get this place. I don't want to finish last. No, no, no. I'm not gonna finish last. Okay. I don't even know why I spun there. M6 GT3 Sprint? What are they using? Like, what is their setup? I need to know. Like... M6, I mean... I'm trying to find it. But yeah, I got no idea how this car works. Trying to have a look. The M6. Yeah, I got no idea what setup is going to be for the M6. I thought that would be okay, but it just isn't, and I don't know where to start. What are the global rankings? The M6 print is... it's quick here. Let's give it another shot, I mean... Let's give it another shot. Maybe they know something that I don't. Okay, this time the sprint version. I need to find the right setup. <laughs> like, I mean, the RS is pretty quick. Nothing much to do about that one, but it's like... I cannot get this one to work. Let's try this. I'm not gonna touch the damping and all the other stuff. Mm. I will try it, but let's let's see this. So initial torque will stay the same. This is gonna go down to f ten, and braking sensitivity down to five. Let's see now. <laughs> it needs to work. I got five minutes. It is turning better. Maybe 6 and 10. Maybe not 6 and 10.
That's okay, actually. That's better. Let's see if it works. Okay, I think I got something here. I think I got something here. but it would be slower I think it is slower hmm let's go see the setup again I'm gonna exit I just want to see the setup what can I change now I'm kind of restricted in a couple of ways here I think moving the natural frequency can help I don't, at this point I don't know where Maybe even six and nine. Uh. I mean, you can just copy it from here. I don't know if this anti roll bar is going to help if it's at nine. I got 40 seconds to try it out. Fifteen free. Ten ten. Twenty twenty fifty fifty. Three point oh three point oh. Five thirty five seven. I'm gonna copy your setup because I don't know what else to change. I'm using ten ten. I guess it works. Twenty twenty. I wasn't that far off damping ratio. Uh three point oh three point oh. Uh I'm gonna keep this one at 15. 7. Do you get too much of it? Okay. Let's take a screenshot. 
Okay, let's give it a shot. But thank you for sharing, man. You're saying 52645, isn't it? You don't need 45. You just put it at 5, you don't need it. Like the car isn't getting that much rotation under braking. Hmm. Had gun high. Let's see. Okay, let's give this one a shot. If it's going to work. Colty, thank you. It feels better. Turns better. Let's get this one to plus five. No, sorry, plus three. Plus five is a bit too much, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I like... <laughs> it turns. Okay, thank you very much for the setup. I also wanted to ask you for your permission to put it on the website. This feels nice. Ten ten was the answer. Jeez. Plus five. I think plus three is fine. I might do plus five, though. But I believe the RS is best. Or is the best car. I will see. Oh, thank you. No, it's nice when you have a base setup, and you can work on that base setup again. You can just adjust it on, uh, depending on the circuit. You don't usually change it that much, do you? But when you don't have a base one, it's pretty difficult. this place <laughs> okay that was quite scary
Nice. M6 I would like some clean track to test out the limits of this car but it feels better it feels much better like night and day acceleration can I can I can I can I That's lag. I don't know if I'm lagging or they are lagging. Yeah, I cannot outrun the Supra. Can I do it on the outside? He's got a better acceleration, but no. I got him. Nice one though. Yeah, it feels much better. Like with this setup, the car just feels like unbelievably good. It just feels unbelievably good. Nothing much to add. The meta car, I even have meta cars. I would say you can try the Renault and M6 seems to be a pretty good one. If you got the right setup. GTR seems okay, nothing too special, but with this setup, it works. 
it really works. Okay, so, um, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to do a bit of quali qualifying with the RS05. Let me just, I need to copy these setups because it's really, really good. Like this thing is good. Which one? Let me test it. This one and this one. Those were the last two ones. And also this. Hmm. Or should I change accounts? You know what, I'm going to change account, and then I will try to qualify at Spa. I want to see what can I do in, let's say, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. The setup is Mega Trial Mountain. Thank you very much for that. Like, a Trial Mountain, I, I tried a lot of cars. <laughs> like, a lot of them. And I haven't tried the M6. I don't know why. I always thought it was not going to be that great because we have so many straight lines there. And just because of that reason, you cannot really get that much time with the M6. I would like to see new cars in the game because some of the cars are getting pretty outdated in my opinion. Not just my opinion, I think we kind of share this opinion. Uh, but I don't know, there are some different cars that I would like to see. For example, if they're going to add new cars, I would really like to see more Japanese cars. Like, it have a proper GT300 season. Just saying. Let me see. What is the RS? The RS. I'm always looking for that car. I can never find it. It's here. It's here. Okay. Got the setups. On my USB. Let's see. Okay, that was the one that I used. Just want to see if it's going to be good. It, it needs to be good. So, 7, 5. You know what, let's leave this at 40-40. I don't think it's going to matter much. I will drop this to... Here. And let's get more aggressive with this one. This is more aggressive. Let's see if it's going to work. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you forget how quick it can be. I need 15, guys. I can definitely break later there. Thank you very much. Long, long time.
Thank you very much. Let's get 15s. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nine. Let's improve this. Positive, positive. a bit of it. Turn, 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 turn. Turned. Again, I made a couple of mistakes, but it's okay. No, it's a ah, fifteen seven, it would be. How is the sitting in the chair? I think it's okay. It feels alright at this point. But I'm gonna give you all feedback if just about a week or two. Ah, it's it's a difficult car to drive. I'm just trying to take the most out of it. Let's keep it up. Real null, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Let's see this thing, minus one. I changed the differential, yes. Otherwise it would be too difficult to get under power. I mean, not much, but it helps. It is a mess. 
That's why I lose it most of the time there. Another penalty, isn't it? It it wasn't such a good lap, but This was much better. Yeah. That one I lost the tent. Joe, hi there. Not such a good one. It could be better. It could be better. It was a good lap. It was a really good lap. But I missed that one corner. It was like... Oh, man. Want to see how much I lost here? Tenth and a half. Yeah, I lost 1.3. So it could have been a point two. Well, I'm not gonna be too optimistic. It could have been a point three, a solid point three. Let's take another one, guys.
No, why did I correct it? gear on the way out here. That was a bad mistake. Okay, 410. And you guys just saw where I lost all of that speed. In the end, it was slightly better than the last time, but there is definitely more in the lap. Like, definitely more in the lap. Let's see where this puts me on the leaderboard. I just need to see it. 396. Let's save this one. P10, okay. Let's be then in the world. But yeah, it can be it can be point two. So pretty solid I would say. I mean a point four with setup I mean I could slightly improve if I just dial it just about right. So I can Probably move the anti-roll bar to like a 0.6 or something. No, that would be too much. I can maybe work with the acceleration sensitivity slightly. I can maybe work with the braking sensitivity slightly. But is it worth it? 
that's a good question. I just don't know. So I would need to test it out and see. But the, you know what? It feels okay. It feels okay and it feels just about right. So I think for this setup, you can get a good lap time. That's perfectly fine. And Marcel, appreciate it. So yeah, guys. Uh, once again, I mean... I will thank you for all of the likes today. Do appreciate... Actually, we got two more likes to 300. So thank you very much for that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, hopefully... I'm gonna be I'm definitely going to be back. It's just Wednesday. I think it's going to be Wednesday. I will upload these uh, these setups on the website so everything will be on the website. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much going to be it. But I gotta say thank you to the chat once again. 300 likes. Well, actually we got more likes, much more likes than usual. Okay, 370. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, setups are here. Setups are also going to be on the website, so you can find them. Um, what else? I'm back on Wednesday. And that's it. I think that's it. There is more performance. There's definitely more in this one, but uh, it will have to wait until Wednesday, I guess. So, yeah, guys. Uh, thank you once again for watching and uh, enjoy just enjoy the rest of the day bye